For everything about life beyond the game. 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 game. Visit spin.ph slash life. For everything about life beyond the game. For everything about life. For everything about life. For everything about life. For everything about life beyond the game. Beyond the game. Beyond the game. Beyond the game. For everything about life. Beyond the game. Beyond the game. This is spin.ph slash life. For everything about life. For everything about life. For everything about life beyond the game. Visit spin.ph slash life. Spin.ph slash life. Magandang hapon sa ating mga spin readers. Welcome sa isa na namang live episode na Spin Zoom In. This is our weekly habit where we put athletes, coaches, and other sports personalities on the hot seat. And for today's guest, special tong guest natin dahil is a retired PBA player who has ventured into a slight, different field. Pero bago natin uh, talakayin or uh, kumustahin natin ang... Uh, life after the PB nitong uh, player na to. Uh, kamustahin mo natin mga kasama ko sa panel. Hi, my name is Carlos Sakamos. It's a pleasure once again to moderate the show alongside my fellow spin staff with me are the two people covering the PBA beat. First is uh, si Sir Jerry and uh, Ruben. Ma. First, our lead correspondent, Ruben Tarado. Uh, ben, uh, magandang hapon. Salamat sa pagsama. Pagbalik sa Spin Zoom In. O oh, nga, pasensya na, medyo na-busy tayo, kaya nice hindi nakakatama. Medyo hindi na tutugma yung oras. Uh, good afternoon sa ating mga viewers. Uh, Carl, bago lahat ha, but, hmm. baka, baka, baka ako makalimutan, babatiin ko Alam muna ko yung na yan. ko. Si Yun. Isabel Rose ng happy anniversary, 10th wedding anniversary. Ha, happy anniversary. See you later. At uh, pati pala yung parents ko, anniversary din ngayon, sakto. Uy, sakto. I think 41st uh, wedding anniversary din. So, mami, daddy, happy anniversary. Si Jonas na rin, batiin ko na rin. Tsaka si Penny. Oh, malapit na ba? Ako oh, nga pala. Eh, wala. Okay. Binati ko lang. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Oo oh, nga, Merry Christmas sa ating mga readers din. And uh, our next panelist, Sir Jerry Ramos, one of our associate editors and the president of the PBA Press Corps. Sir Jerry, how's your, how's the PBA coverage last night? Tagal natin din nagkita. <laughs> ah, nakamute ka, sir. Sorry. Yes, uh, good afternoon sa lahat ng listeners, viewers natin dito sa ating Spin Zoom In and Si Ruben, ang bait ah. Bait na asawa. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ko nga, sir, 10-0 plus. Okay, okay naman. Okay naman yung coverage kagabi, Carl. Uh, medyo inalat nga lang yung San Miguel Beer. Ano? Hindi, oh, nga, hindi lang nila na ipwersa to a do or die game yung uh, serya nila with the Bay Area Dragons. Pero nonetheless, it's going to be an Definitely, it's going to be an exciting uh, oh, Commissioner's Cup Finals between uh, Barangay Hinebra and the Bay Area Dragons. And speaking of Barangay Hinebra, Carl, alam natin itong guest natin na no, panauhin ngayon, eh, isang dating taga-barangay din yan, eh, Yo. Carl, di ba? Yes, sir. Kaya without further ado, sige na, ipakilala mo na siya. Oo nga sir, yun bukod sa Hinebra, ano rin to, former San Miguel Beer player, so yun, may, medyo maraming napagdaanan to, maraming battle scars. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Yun, 2003 pa lang, he's the 6th mm-hmm. overall pick in 2003 and uh, he's a 5-time PBA champion including 3 titles with San Miguel, a 2005 mm-hmm. All-Star and a 2009 All-Defensive Team member dahil he's one of the rugged enforcers ng PBA. But now, syempre mas focus natin ang kanyang life after the PBA dahil siya isang registered registered nurse na. So what a remarkable achievement dahil uh, ang guest natin ay walang iba kundi si Mr. Billy Mamaril. Billy, magandang hapon. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon everyone. Uh, nice to see everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bill, no? thank you for Billy. Good afternoon, Billy. Good afternoon. Hi Bill, thank you for ano, thank you for spending some time. Buti ano, wala kang ride today or did you have a 
right earlier. <laughs> bukas pa, bukas pa. Ah, bukas pa. Okay. okay. Uh. <laughs> Yan, pag-usapan din natin yung, ano, yung TBA Moto Club. And how are you? Yon, syempre. Amazing. Mm, no, no. no. Kasama mo pala sa dyan. Yes, sir. Again, to our readers, sabi ni Jam, we're live on Facebook, YouTube, and on TikTok. So, kung may mga... Uh, thank you for ano, uh, watching kung saan platform man kayo and kung may mga questions kayo for our special guest for today, just post them down below. And nga pala, yung... Nakita ko na nag-ride, nag, ano, nag-motor ako kanina galing ano, yung alabang. Tapos nakita ko na sa C5 yung ano natin, sir. Sportsman of the Year sa billboard. Nagulat ako, meron ng... Parang 5-second billboard. So, it's a teaser. So, na napapadaan kayo ng C5, nandun na sa C5 yung one of the billboards there, yung teaser namin for Spin Sportsman of the Year. So, abangan nyo in the next few days yung mga awardees namin na paparangalan. And sana makita rin, makita rin nila yung mga sarili nila sa giant billboard dun sa C5. And anyway, now we're here with our special guest, uh, Bill. Yun, ay... Let's get into the ano muna. Your life after the PBA. Uh, how's it? How's, how's, how do you like being called a registered nurse? Uh, it feels good kasi alam ko yung, yung hirap talaga na dinaanan, dinaanan ko at mga classmates ko. Especially nung last three months kasi talagang review talaga kami. And uh, when, the, when the results came out, lahat talaga kami, uh, we were so happy. Not just for ourselves, but you know, yung sacrifice namin and for one another. So... It's like winning a championship, but a little bit Yo. better. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, there's nag-aral si Billy. Yung una, ayaw sabihin ni Billy kung saan siya nag-aral, but he's a proud product of Our Lady of Fatima in Antipolo. Tiga doon ka ba, Bill? Are you, do you live nearby? So you, why did you choose Our Lady of Fatima? Yes, Our Lady of Fatima, Antipolo. Ano, tiga, sa, doon sa area. Like five minutes okay. away lang. Nandun na. <laughs> Okay, Kaya so, convenient din talaga sa akin yung Our Lady of Fatima. Okay. So, yun, Bill. Can you, can you talk us through what, what was your mindset before? Why did you take up, as our title suggests, why, what convinced you to take this different path away from basketball? Okay. Well, for those that doesn't know, I left school early kasi I wanted to pursue basketball. Diba? That's my dream talaga, mm-hmm. to play basketball in the Philippines. As early as 10 years old, alam ko na na mag PBA ako. And then when it, when the time ano came to decide mag-aral or maglaro. Sabi ko sa mama ko, "Ma, maglalaro na ako ngayon kasi pag 40 years old na ako, pwede akong bumalik sa eskwelahan at kaya akong mag-aral. Pero pag 40 years old na ako, hindi ko na kayang tumanon at tumakbo." <laughs> so, eventually, you know, like, like all athletes, all professionals, especially sa sports, may time na na you need to think about life beyond your sport, life beyond basketball. And around 2015, nag-iisip na ako nun kasi ramdam mo na din eh. Mararamdaman mo na. And you have to be ready. You know, uh, preparation talaga is the best thing to, to tackle the future, di ba? So, pinag-isip ako, uh, dietitian talaga ang, ang ano ko, ng una. Pero, Nursing wasn't that far away because my mom is a nurse and I grew up around the hospital. And then finally, I decided to game. I know I think I'd rather I'd, I want to go to I know, be a nurse because being a nurse offers me uh, yung sa, mag-nurse ka sa skwelahan, mag-nurse ka sa corporate, corporate nurse, mag-nurse ka sa hospital, mag-private duty nurse ka. Pero yung, yung gusto ko talaga magiging ano ako, uh, isang prison nurse ako sa kulungan. So, so ah, talaga? Okay. Yes. Nice. So eventually, eventually, mm-hmm. nakakatawa talaga kasi nung, nung nag-inquire ako ng mga school, potential school ko, Fatima Antipolo was not really on my radar kasi, kasi yun, malit lang kasi yung school. Pero yung Fatima, kilala ko na yung Fatima kasi Valenzuela, yung mga relatives ko, Fatima Valenzuela mm-hmm. nag-aaral. So okay. anyway, uh, our friend, uh, a former basketball player din natin, si... Ralph Rivera dun sa, ano, si Ralph. Mm-hmm. Siya yung head coach sa Fatima dun. So, I oh, called okay. Ralph. So, ko, Ralph, ano, set up mo nga ako ng meeting with the, with the uh, College of uh, Nursing. So, si College of Nursing. So, mm-hmm. ano, in-entertain naman ako. Tapos, pinakita, sabi ko yung, yung, yung um, plan ko. Pinakita ko yung uh, 
uh, transfer yung TOR ko, yung transfer record na galing state, sabi niya, okay. Okay, pwede ka, pwede ka. O ngayon, o sige, sir. Ano, pirma ka na dito. Uh, first day of school sa Sunday na. So, ko, wait, nag-inquire lang po ako. Sige, pwede na yan. O, sige, sige na. Ayan na. So, <laughs> ang bilis talaga. And then they were really accommodating. At uh, they were really, ano, they were ready to help me achieve my my uh, my goals. So, so thank you to Our Lady of Fatima Antipolo. Nice. So, 10 years old pa lang, Bill, no? Nasa, na, na isip mo na na PBA player ka and meron ka na rin plan right after the PBA. So, parang meron ka, ano yung law of attraction ba yan? Na you, may, yung parang future na agad yung naisip mo and you made it, pa, made it yung, yung vision mo, you made it come true. Yes. Uh, yun lang talaga. As, in, as I remember, 10 years old ako, I'm gonna, babalik ako sa Pilipinas, magbabasketball ako. Yung nga, target ko, mga 15 years lang eh. Napasobra ng konti eh. So, <laughs> so, that's a good ano naman. That's a good uh, problem to have. And then, obviously, yun nga. Um, kasi pag, you know, as you get older, kasi puro basketball talaga ako. Uh, as you get older, there's a need to, ano, to learn, to study, you know. You, we're, we're looking for things to do, to do. Gusto natin matuto. And sabi ko nun, instead na may story kasi ako, Kasi ang ginagawa ko after practice, you know, workout practice, nag ano lang ako, nag, nag video game lang ako. Tapos sabi ko, sa, sa ano ko, sabi ko, parang saya naman yung oras ko. And uh, let me, you know, let me go back to school. And then that's, ano, yun yung reason then kung ba't ako bumalik sa pag-aaral para more productive yung oras ko. Ayan, sigurado may mga gustong tanong si Ruben sa'yo. Ben? Take it away. Mag, mag-iipon na muna ako ng mga questions sa ating uh, guest for today. Uh, yes, Billy. Good afternoon. No? Uh, curious lang ako, siguro, during your stay in the Our Lady of Fatima, uh, I'm assuming kilala ka ng mga kaklase mo. No? So, how, how was your classmates? And ano ba, kaedad, may mga kaedad ka ba? Or very, puro mga bata ba yung mga nandun? Uh, well, majority for bata actually yung first day of school wala pa akong uniform noon eh, naka civilian kami and uh, so syempre tahimik lang ako doon sa likod diba and then yung mga <laughs> yung mga estudyante papasok sa isa tapos akala nila ako yung prof <laughs> so, so so eventually oh sige sabi ko ano makikisakay na ako so magsasalita ako doon okay guys uh, please qu- sit down and um uh, ano uh, be quiet muna tayo. <laughs> Pero na, na, they recognize me. They recognize me. Sabi, oh, si Billy Mamaril. Picture, picture. Di ba? Picture, picture tayo. Ganun. And uh, it it worked in my favor. And uh, at the same time, it ano, it helped me stay grounded. Kasi mm-hmm. yung being being known, yung prof, yung mga professors, mga CI, kilala din ako. At pag wala ako doon, hinahanap talaga ako. Uh, siyempre, pag may mga tanong, ako yung unang-unang kita kasi nandun ako eh. Dead center ako sa gitna. Ang taas-taas, di ba? So, ako yung tatanungin. And uh, ayaw naman natin mapahiya pag tinanong tayo. So, kailangan. May mga, may mga sasagot tayo. Mm-hmm. Uh, Billy, dun lang din sa curious, no? Baka kasi may mga nanonood sa atin na maybe try, gusto rin nilang kahakin or ganitong path din yung gusto na mag-nursing, no? Mm-hmm. Ano ba requirement that do, do the... Do, do, do the student have to be like a pre-med uh, course. Uh, from what you know, kahit ba sino pwedeng mag-nursing, uh, could you give us just a little background kung paano ba pumasok sa nursing? Yes, uh, of course. Just All you have to do is be a high school graduate. Pagkatapos mo mag-high school graduate, okay. kung ano man yung school na attendan mo, if they have a entrance exam, but as for my case, sa Fatima, wala namang entrance exam. So, you just basically just enroll. Titingnan nila yung credentials mo, uh, yung yung transcript mo kung pumasa ka talaga ng high school. At other than that, you're okay na. Sila na bahala sa yo. Just listen to them and uh, eventually if you listen to them, you'll get the the education, the training, the experience and then um they'll they will prepare you for the board exam and then yeah. you'll take the board exam and there you are. You have a RN in, behind your name na. Mhm. How would you st- how would you describe yourself as a student? Like a dean's lister ka ba? Or uh, <laughs> sakto lang? Or ano ba? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I apply the same uh, work ethic 
sa, okay. sa school ever since uh, ever since naman yon ever since I was uh, younger as a mm-hmm. student athlete I applied the same same energy same effort so I would say I'm a, I'm a pretty good student pero yung yung Dean Lister para sa iba na siguro yon kasi you know, sa, sinasabi ko lagi yung yung bida lagi yung unang na, napap, napapatay eh. <laughs> <laughs> and then yung uh, preparing for the board uh, how oh many months yon kasi yung, every Siyempre, yung, yung other profession, meron, meron ding review and uh, I think iba six months, something like that. Sa, sa nursing ba, how long and how was the review how was the review process for you in, in preparing for the board? Actually, na, ano, nahirapan ako sa ano ko, sa scheduling ng konti kasi mm-hmm. uh, graduate talaga kami August na. Tapos, okay. yung, yung board exam November, so August pa hindi pa ako nagre-review kasi hindi ko talaga alam yung gagawin ko whether whether I would take the November board exam or the the 2023 board exam. Mm-hmm. So uh I talked to my classmates kasi lahat kami undecided kami kasi kaka-graduate lang namin, di ba? Mm-hmm. And and parang bitin na bitin na yung 3 months. So sabi namin, ano, magbo-boards ba tayo? Sabi namin and then I said, I finally said, sige mag-boards tayo kasi Kahit ano mangyari, kasi bibigyan naman natin talaga ng effort to, tsaka ng time. So siguro, with those formula, you know, we have a good chance of, of passing na. Mm-hmm. And yun, so eventually we supported each other, you know, yung, yung sa, sa mga sa study group ko, si, si Brian, si Kim, tsaka si Altea, apat kami nun. So mm-hmm. we were able to help each other and talagang, you really need a support system talaga kasi kalamang hatakin talaga isa't isa kasi it's so over- overwhelming sa dami ng aaralin mo at kailangan mong malaman. Mm-hmm. Bili siguro, ito, question lang. Ano ang mas pressure? Uh, board exam or game 7 of the PBA finals? Anong mas that's, pressure sa iyo? That's a, you know, that's a easy, easy answer. Kasi pag game 7 na PBA finals, whether all Filipino or may import, Mm-hmm. May, may meron kang Jumar Fajardo, meron kang Marshall Lasseter, <laughs> di ba? Oh. Sa kabila naman, meron kang JJ Helterbrand, meron kang Eric Mink at Kagiwa. Mm-hmm. So, no brainer, madali lang ang game 7. Wow, okay. So, di ba? You have those people, you have those those ano, PBA legends to rely on eh. Mm-hmm. So, pero pag pag yung board exam na <laughs> board exam na nandun ka na sa parking lot sumisilip ka pa ng notes mo kasi alam mong ikaw lang mag-isa dun sa upuan na yun. <laughs> Grabe, no? Yes. Good answer, ha? Uh, gives us an idea of how a board exam environment um, looks like, no? I think, I'm sure, mas madali nga, no? Based on your, what you're saying, mas madali pag game 7. Yes. Carl, baka may, yun na muna for my first, ano, uh, First set of questions ko, baka may yeah, right. habol ka or si Sir Jerry na. Uh, Sir Jerry, pero yun nga, may experience ka na rin sa ano eh. Sa board, di ba Brad? Kung sa ating mga readers, sa accountancy naman. Si Ruben, oh. Di ba? Yun ang ano, hindi lang sports writer yan si Ruben, kaya may experience din yan. Na, ano, Ruben, naduling no, ka din, baka kababol. Kaya, ka kaya I can relate sa'yo, yung sinasabi mo eh, na naglalakad ka na papunta sa school na kung saka magtetest titingin ka pa ng notes mo eh. So, I can, I can definitely relate to what you're saying. Yes, to give you an idea pala, ha, yung board exam ng nursing is two days yun. The first day consists of three exam na take to two hours. So, two hour exam, one hour break, two hour exam, tapos one hour break, tapos two hour exam ulit. Tapos, uulitin mo ulit the next day. Next day naman, two hour exam, one hour break, two hour exam ulit. Yung, yung, it's not uncommon na may nakakatulog talaga habang nag exam At uh, pag nakatulog ka, syempre tahimik lahat, hindi ka gigisingin nun. Mm-hmm. So, it happened. Uh, yung may mga kaklase ako, may nakatulog daw sa, sa classroom nila. Multiple choice ba, Billy, yung questions? Or may mga, ano, like may mga essay-type questions? No, uh, multiple choice lang naman. Multiple uh, choice na, okay. Yes. Kaso, kaso 500 questions yun. <laughs> yun nga, oh, different wow. subjects pa yun. Hmm. Yes. Um, okay. Sir J, maybe you have your first set of questions for Billy. Uh, actually, Billy, 
Dito sa amin sa Valenzuela yung parang pinaka main branch ng yes. Our Lady of Fatima na yes. ano. Uh, na nakapunta ka ba rito? Yes, uh, ano, nag uh, nagmasa ko sa Our, sa Our Lady of Fatima diyan sa Valenzuela. Simbahan, yeah. Yes. Uh, 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 before that, yung one week before the ano exam. Ano bago ka nag-exam? Yeah, yes, okay, kasi very ano, good. yung mga yung mga graduate ng Fatima na mag-exam, they invited all of us to uh, for a ano, a mass. So, mm, so, okay. Billy, ano, buti yung meron ka pang drive no to uh, study again after nung basketball career mo. Kasi usually yes. pag nag nag-work ka na, parang tinatamad ka ng mag, mag ano uli no, mag-aaral. Ikaw buti yeah. may ganung drive ka pa rin ano. Paano mo yeah, na ano yun? One of my ano, yun, the, the thing that kept me uh, driven sa PBA for 17 years is was that I always tell myself basta yung yung may galit pa ako maglaro, yung kasi pag galit ka sa pag galit ka matalo, you know, you really care about your sport, gusto mo manalo. Pero yung ibang player na mm-hmm. yung bali wala lang sa kanila, parang ayoko naman ng ganun na para pera-pera na lang. Basta Basta may galit ka, may willingness ka, go ka pa din. So, eventually, nung natapos yung career ko, I had another, ano, parang I set this challenge for myself na I want to be a professional even after basketball. You know? So, being a registered nurse gave me the opportunity because I'm a, I'm a licensed professional pa din, even though I'm not playing basketball anymore. Alalak bang balak to become a doctor naman na uh, ituloy mo na yan? <laughs> you know, that came up several times actually. Sabi ko, ayoko na maging uh, doctor, matanda na ako. <laughs> 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 Yang si Papa mo, uh, kumusta nung nalaman niyang nakapasa ka sa sa board? You know, um my family was uh, no, really supportive and uh even though even though they had you know they had no doubts that i would pass of course there was a possibility na baka hindi ako pumasa but once uh once the results came out they were happy for me because they they know the sacrifice that uh that uh, no, that i put into it and um you know they were really happy for me and even even yung mga fans na fans ko mga kabarangay ko diyan saka mga mga sa Michael Beerman and even uh, other other fans, even non-fans actually, but the basketball fan, alam alam nila yung ano napanood nila. So parang ang ano eh yung yung sabi ko sa wife ko like wala walang option tayo kalam pasan to kasi kakahiya pag ano buong Pilipinas ina 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 tabayanan na kumasa ako <laughs> so no choice. <laughs> Billy, correct me if I'm wrong. Tama ba during the pandemic ka? Uh nag aral na maging nurse no i actually enrolled uh, to be a nurse uh, 2018 so okay. sakto yun sakto yun uh, that was the time i i transferred to san miguel beer and then um, mm-hmm. so right when i enrolled alam ko na, na na during my third year third year ko baka hindi na ako hindi ko na mapagsabay kasi may mga duty na tayo noon may kailangan ng mas extensive na yung yung pag-aaral baka hindi ko na masabay and then unfortunately yung pandemic happened and um, the school system natin had to had to transfer to an online uh, style education diba and um, but ano naman as in, in my favor i was able to ano pa play basketball kasi wala talagang physical duty sa ospital so nung mm-hmm. nung bubble namin, may PBA bubble sa Pampanga. Andun si yung roommate ko si, si actually buong San Miguel na yun, si si Bam Gamelinda, si Motatua. Nandun sila. So sabi ko saya-saya naman ninyo, nag-aano kayo, practice laro basketball, workout, tulog. Eh, pero ako na, meron na akong ano doon, meron na akong meron na akong office doon sa ano, sa hotel eh. Alam kasi nila na may dala akong mm-hmm. printer, may dala akong printer, may ano okay. na akong mga libro. So nag-aaral talaga ako noon sa sa bubble. Mm-hmm. Paano nung nag-intern ka, may pandemic pa rin, ma taas pa ba yung cases noon? No, um before before the pandemic, nakapag ano naman ako, nakapag-duty naman ako sa ospital. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, nak- nakapag uh, nakapagpanganak ako ng bata, nag-assist ako sa pregnant mm-hmm. ano, delivery, nakapag uh, wa- duty ako sa ward. Minsan nga is ano eh uh, uh, sasabihin ko doon sa sa professor, sa CI ko, sa clinical instructor ko, sabi ko, "Ma'am, pwede ba ano, uh, out muna ako ng ano mga maaga ng mga one hour kasi may laro ako. May laro ako ng 4 o'clock, ma'am. <laughs> so, pag gano'n naman, pinapayagan ako, pero may makeup duty pa ako. So, pero okay lang. Kasi okay. experience talaga yung habol natin pag gano'n. Kasi. So, okay lang yan. So, I was able to complete that. And uh, when the pandemic hit naman, uh, I was still able to to ano to complete my requirements kasi nakapag-assist ako. Doon sa picture na nakita nyo, naka-amazing design ako. Ano yun? Oh uh, operation room naman yun. So, nakaka-intimidate din kasi, kasi siyempre, tunay na buhay yun and uh, student pa tayo. But, you know, fortunately, I had uh, great mentors and uh, they were able to help me and uh, learn and get comfortable. So, after a while, naging parang automatic na din. Ma- mahirap bang pagsabayan nung time na naglalaro ka and at, at the same time, nag-aaral ka? You know, honestly, uh, I would say hindi mahirap for someone na, you know, our, our age na. Kasi I, I'm mm. thinking, kung 20 years old ako, tapos you ask me to 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 study, tapos play basketball. Diba? Ang daming distraction yun pag bata ka pa. So as a, yes. a, a, you know, as someone who's older, I was able to prioritize, you know, and get everything in order. Pero, pero ang hirap talaga pag yung ano, pag yung 20-year-old Billy Mamaril na sabihin mo, kailangan mo pumasok 6 hours a day tapos may practice ka. Tapos, you know, you know yung, yung, paano na yung gimmick, di ba? <laughs> Oo, oh, no? Tama rin ka na siguro nun by yes. the time, oh, no? Oh. Oh. Sa pagod, gusto mo nilang magpahinga, matulog, di ba? <laughs> gusto mong gumimik pag bata ka. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Carl, ba? back to you. Yes sir, ito may may comment dito na nasagot na ito. Na, oh, si, doon sa YouTube lang, sabi ni Flora Ganda. Sabi niya, si Billy Mamaril po ba ay anak ni Mamaril na dating player ng Hinebra? Yes po. Tapos sabi niya, congrats sa pagpasa sa board exam. Si Miss Flora Ganda. Salamat, Miss Ma'am Flora. Hmm. Tapos si sa ano naman, sa Facebook sabi ni hindi ko Hindi ko alam kung relative mo to, Bill. Sabi ni Kimi Mamaril. Shout out, Idol. Uh, yan yung ano, actually, half-sister ko yan. Siya mm. shout out yan. Single pa pala siya, ha? Uy. Yan yung <laughs> ano, yan yung ano, uh, ang, ang next na, or unang-unang mamaril na artista sa pamilya. Si Uy. Kim Mamaril. Wow. <laughs> Tapos, ito si, ito, kap- Baka fo, ano, fellow nurse din to. Sabi ni Martin Angelo Ferrer Carino. Congratulations, Cabaro. Ayan, si Martin, alam niya yung pinagdaanan natin. Alam niya talaga. So, talaga to everyone, uh, to everyone that passed the board exam uh, last November, talaga, congratulations to everyone. I know the the work that you put into it. And um, especially those that, ano, yung pang, pang, pangalawa, pangatlo, pangapat na take na nila. And finally, they were able to pass I salute you kasi mahirap talaga na, na mag-focus ka, especially after if you don't pass the first or second time. So, congratulations everyone. Bill, how many did you pass nung, nung nito, nung last November? There were, ano eh, let me see. I, I, nilabas ko na yun eh. Ready tayo. Okay. There were, there were 24,903 ano, takers. takers. Mm-hmm. Yes. And out of those, uh, 18,529 passed. So, parang 74% ang nagpasa. Ngayon, mm-hmm. you know, uh, kahit na, uh, kahit, sasabi ko lagi, kahit na, kahit na 99% yan, may possibility pa din, possibility na hindi pumasa. So, kailangan talaga mag-aral, di ba? Laman. Uh-huh. Ito, one more, ano, comment. From Kuya Aid or Aide, sabi niya, Congrats, Idol Billy. Proud Bulakenyo. Yes, uh, sa Bukawi, Bulacan. I'll see you guys there in Christmas. <laughs> wow. 
Ito, may question dito from... Oh, ito, pa. Back to ano, PB hat mo na bila. May question yes. dito, parang pinapa-analyze sa'yo. Sabi ni Jonard Dael or Dael. Idol mm-hmm. Billy, who will win the championship? Bay Area or Hinebra? Oh, come on, that's a... <laughs> That's a ano, self-explanatory na yung sagot dyan, di ba? So, alam na natin. <laughs> Siyempre, never say die tayo dyan. Pero sayang lang, no? At hindi hindi, ta, hindi nagkaroon ng uh, Hinebra versus San Miguel. I was really looking forward to that. Hati ka sana dun. Kung baga torn ka if, you, if the, the two teams made it. Yeah, but you know, that, I think for me, that would be, a, that would be a better because I have... Uh, good relationship with uh, both sides eh. so mm-hmm. you know that would be fun have, have you been watching now, bill i oh, sorry Sige. no no of course now you know hinebra talaga tayo ngayon ngayon championship have you been watching the pb games bill yes i've been monitoring uh you know uh my friends uh you know mostly just san miguel and you know sa hinebra din sila sila christian sila stanley la i monitor them uh Usually, yun, yun naman dalawa yung team ko talaga, yung San Miguel, tsaka yung, uh, yung Hinebra. Eh. And of course, you know, I, si, si Matt din sa, sa kabila. So, mm-hmm. oh. so how's, kumusta ang PBA bill nung since you left? Did it become softer or did it become, ano? <laughs> uh, you know, you know <laughs> lagi ko sinasabi, lagi natin sinasabi, soft daw yung PBA, di ba? Pero I think it's, ano lang, um, you know, may, they, yes, it's the rules eh. Ganun yung rules eh. So, as a player, hindi mo pwede sabihin yung player soft eh. Yun ang rule eh. So, mm-hmm. so but, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but the, inter- no, no, the, the introduction of, or the invitation of the, of the Bay Area Dragons ba sila? Uh, mm, I think yeah. that kind of spiced up the PBA kasi, you know, it's a different breed. Pero, of course, uh, I, I would like to see more, you know, more uh, of our teams be competitive and uh you mga fans you know come 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 uh, experience the pba especially now when uh, all this you uh, know young young uh exciting players na naran sa pba ngayon mm-hmm. ito speaking of physicality bill may tanong dito si sa, sa youtube si ray mark veloso sabi niya the bully sino nag welcome sa iyo sa pba no rookie ka actually hindi pa ako rookie noon na welcome na ako Kasi, uh, wow. um, ano lang, uh, laro-laro lang talaga. Siyempre, uh, galing ako states, di ba? So, naghahanap ako ng, ng, ng laro, ng, ng, ng basketball. At uh, somehow, uh, I ended up in a, in a Tandaway practice. So, uh, um, I would say na uh, nag-welcome sa akin doon is si, si Kuya Noli. <laughs> Loxin. Mm, okay. Yeah. Loxin. So, Loxin. Yeah, Loxin. <laughs> yes. So I know hindi naman yung ano, hindi na, he's a lot nicer than I am. So uh, <laughs> ano lang, you know, paramdam lang siya. Tapos di ko alam, tinitira na pala ako kasi yung nga, sabi ko mabait si Noli eh. Pero from there I learned the lesson. Sabi ko pagdating ko sa PBA, pagdating ko sa PBA, didikit ako dun sa mga sa mga ano, sa mga <laughs> ano ba yung better term natin doon, sa mga enforcer. <laughs> So finally, oh, yeah. finally ng rookie year ko, ang mga best friend ko noon si Andy Sigil tsaka si Chris Cantonhos. <laughs> <laughs> at ano pala at si Boyet Fernandez din yun, yung tatlo na yun. Mm-hmm. Okay. So pa- paano ka naka ano Bill? How did you end up in that Tandoy practice? Ah, yung ano, yung titi nila, yung trainer nila was a family friend eh. Kasi ah, si, okay. si si Bobby Jordan kasi and uh uh, ayun, I ended up oh. there lang sa ano. So they set it up. Nakipractice ako si coach uh Derek Pumarin pa yung coach noon. Eh. And uh mm-hmm. you know, I was I was just trying to you know like test the water like ano ba, what's the the Philippine basketball all about. And then eventually I said, okay, I think I think I could do this. Pero I, I wanted to ano, I wanted to gain experience pa. So nag PBL ako muna ng one conference tapos nag MBA pa ako ng one conference. Kasi sabi nila, mahirap daw sa NBA, di ba? It's rugged daw, ganun, ganun. Eh, when I ended up in the, when I went to the NBA naman, they said I was too rugged naman daw. <laughs> okay, ikaw pala nag-set ng standard. <laughs> <laughs> <Di> naman. <laughs> so, 
Yeah. Yung Tor, Tor Readers Billy is a product of Bakersfield sa ano, uh, California. Nung sa Bakersfield, Bill, did you, did you play Division 1? What anong na, nilaroan mo doon nung time? No, uh, Bakersfield College is actually a junior college siya. Ah, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So, ang mga ang kalaban ko, ang schools ni Kagiwa, uh, Glendale College, tsaka Bakersfield College, magka, uh, magkalaban kami noon. Pero kami naman ni Mark uh, we knew each other kasi syempre sa pag nasa ibang bansa yung mga Pilipino naman they tend to you know know each other so si Mark si Mark yung parang naging uh, parang ano din sa akin parang uh, parang in a way guide na after this I could I could go to the PBA kasi I had just akin ng one year and uh in high school naman it's funny nga eh ang talaga ng mundo ng basketball eh. kasi nung high school ako one of the import na nag-import dito sa PBA in uh, more than one occasion na si Sean Daniels. Sean Daniels mm-hmm. yeah. magka magkalaban kami ng high school. Mm-hmm. So, okay. It was a uh, ano. It's nice to see na may mga tiga dun sa amin na they were able to play in the PBA then. Mm-hmm. Si si Mark Bill, did, did you ano nag, nagkalaban kayo nung ano time niya doon? Yes, magko-conference kami ni Mark, magko-conference mm-hmm. kami. Okay. Pero ano, so, uh, iba pa si Mark noon. Pero blood na yung hair niya noon. Okay. <laughs> so after nung, uh, how, how were you able to, ano, paano ka na-scout nung dito sa Pilipinas, Bill? I, I don't think na scout naman talaga ako. Kasi nung, nung college ako sa States, uh, talaga, ano talaga ako eh, like focus lang. I just, wanna, I just wanna finish my school here and then go to the Philippines. So hindi ako nag-entertain ng mga scout. So what I did when pagpunta ko sa Pilipinas, uh, nagpractice na ako sa sa Tanduay, and then uh, after that I I was able to end up with a uh, Aten- Ateneo Pioneer with sila Rich Alvarez and Rico Villanueva, yung yung batch na yon. So I played PBL there, and then after that, you know, I kind of the the attractiveness of the NBA, yung yung pagpunta ka sa Cebu sa Davao, parang that kind of intrigued me. Especially at uh, 20, 21 years old, diba? 21 years old, you're able to travel. Bago lahat. So I decided to, okay, let me try this MBA. And I, I did that. And unfortunately, naman, nagfold yung league. So from there, I uh, went to PBL for a while be, w- while waiting for the PBA draft in 2003. So parang, parang end, na experience mo NBA style na traveling. Yeah. All the time, you know. Yeah, that was oh. fun. Uh, yun, ang, 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 the, the concept then, ang ganda ng concept niya. Mm-hmm. Tapos, ito from uh, comment from Facebook, si Rolly Rosales. Sabi niya, Billy, congrats sa bago mong career. God bless. From Georgia, USA. Yes, thank you. And good luck and Merry Christmas. Okay. So, mag-iipo na muna ako ng ano, more questions. Ben, do you have any more questions? for? Yeah, oh, meron. Uh, really curious lang din ako nung... So, you're saying that ano, you, know, you took up nursing while you're still playing, di ba? Mm-hmm. Was there a time that uh, you were able to apply your nursing kahit pa paano? Siyempre, hindi ka pa naman grad siguro. Mm-hmm. No, but you were able to, to apply your uh, natutunan mo, perhaps in practice or in games, baka may na-injured na player, you help out. May ganun bang scenario nangyari sa'yo during uh, the time you were studying as well as playing? Yes, meron. Uh, ito, uh, key moment to. 2000... Uh, 20 na. 2020. Mm-hmm. Kasi the pandemic happened, uh, the, the shutdown happened like late April yata, di ba? Right. Mm-hmm. And re- remember June Mark, he broke his tip yan nun? Oh, yun. okay. Sige, oh. sige. <laughs> well, interesting to ah. Sige, yeah. sige. I don't know, practice yun eh, practice. Actually, uh, si yeah. June Mark, na- naagawan, naagawan niya ako ng bola actually. Naagawan ako ni June Mark ng bola. Tapos, meron siyang clear path to the basket nun. As in, dadak niya na yata yun. At pag, pag, pag plant niya ng paa niya, Eh, parang gumanon talaga may 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 pumotok dinami ko alam kung ano tapos pagtingin namin kay Junmar may may buto na nakalabas din sa legs niya sa leg niya and okay. chef sabi ko oh ano give space muna tayo ano Junmar ano ko muna wag kang wag mo nang tignan kasi baka chef baka ma-shock pa siya di ba 
o oh, immobilize o oh, immobilize tapos o oh, split natin ng konti takpan natin baka ma-infectionan <laughs> o oh, basta diyan ka lang din mar elevate mo yung paa mo ng konti kasi para yung blood flow hindi hindi man oh hindi magdudugo masyado <laughs> at that was the closest one at that time yung kay Jun Mar kasi lahat din ng, it's amazing din lahat ng teammate ko ano nakikinig naman sila so <laughs> so parang ikaw yung first aid yung first aid yes no? yes yes oh, um, first aid uh-uh. Wow, ah, grabe. And, uh, anong, anong pakiramdam nung... I mean, I'm, I'm sure that wasn't really the one of the best <laughs> moments in San Miguel history, no? But uh, how, how did that felt na at nakatulong ka? Yeah, ano, I, I know. My teammates naman kasi, alam naman kasi nila na nag-nursing na ako nun. And uh, actually, they, they actually... Si, si Matt Ganuelas nga, katabi ko si Matt. Uh, nag, sabi ko, Matt, ito yung question sa tanongin mo ako. I-quiz mo ako kasi may quiz ako mamaya. So, <laughs> he was able to help me din naman. <laughs> And then what happened ba? Biglang nagtawag na ba kayo ng like medic or ambulance? Oo, oh, 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 ambulance na yun. Kaso, uh-huh. sa pre-crop office namin kay Junmar, may hagdan eh. Ayan, laki-laki ni Junmar, hindi, ma- hindi may stretcher. <laughs> so, wala eh. No choice si Junmar, no choice. Buhati namin si Junmar. Mm. So, okay did they, they, uh, after the incident ba did someone te- told you na maybe if you didn't help out baka mas serious yung injury <laughs> may mga ganun ba or talagang no. that was really serious an, a serious injury oh, so regardless pagkadating naman ng ambulance naman wala, wala na sila na bala tarbaho na nila yun and uh, you, all okay. they have to do there is get out the way that was the easiest part just get out the way mm-hmm. oh. uh, let the professional work <laughs> right mm-hmm. And then Billy, balik lang tayo sa career mo, no? Uh, maybe I could say na you quietly retired from the game kasi parang wala naman talagang masyadong announcement or news mm-hmm. about it or maybe uh, what made you decide to hang it up na? Uh, was was that uh, already, na naiisip mo na ba yun? Was your nursing, uh, yung pag nursing mo, did that some, add something to do with your decision to retire? Uh, I would say uh, nursing was really the, the biggest reason why uh, I decided to hang it up because eventually uh, basketball will not be the priority anymore. And uh, I was fortunate enough to have had basketball as my priority uh, all the way up to age 41. So ever since I was 10 years old, basketball 24-7. But, you know, there's a bigger calling uh, with, uh, with nursing. Was it an easy decision? To... Yes. You know, uh, it was easy because, you know, every time I step on the court, you know, the, it was just, it just felt different. Eh? Kasi mm-hmm. na iba na yung game, na iba na yung style ng laro. And then, um, obviously, we're not, we're not as young as uh, we used to be. Uh, mm-hmm. May mga, may mga haunting uh, injury na it takes you a while to get over. Hindi ka tulad dati na kahit ano, you could, you could run through the wall at uh, walang wala yun. Pero, oh. Yung nursing talaga kasi there's a bigger future talaga uh, mm-hmm. on that side. Okay. Let's discuss a bit yung pictures. No? Diyan, balikan lang natin yung unang-una mong pinakita. No? Mayroon kang pinakita. Ito eh. What do you, yeah. do you remember this picture? Baka pwede mong kung ano lang yung naalala mo. Would you yes. describe what, what is yes. this? That was the first uh, championship that I had. That was against San Miguel when we we were down uh, 0-2 and then na straight naman sila ng four mm-hmm. games. And that was the first mm-hmm. time that that championship trophy has been awarded. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I think that was 2007 yata yan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, or Filipino yan. Uh, right. My first year with Tinebra. And uh, that was memorable. Mm-hmm. Of course, the first one's memorable. And you know, uh, when you going back to your question earlier, which one's easier to achieve? Mm-hmm. Winning a game seven or, or passing the nursing exam? And mm-hmm. I said, you know no doubt the nursing exam was, was harder and tougher because um mm-hmm. yung, when i was young playing diba parang i was expecting to win a championship i expect to 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 have championship after championship but mm-hmm. with the nursing exam you know parang parang hindi ko may doubt eh may doubt mm-hmm. ng konti kasi parang may baka hindi pumasa diba mm-hmm. yeah. that's the difference also kasi i expect to win championship i expect to win awards when I was younger, playing basketball. Because that was my skill, you know? That's my skill. Ko. 
<laughs> you could even say that was my skill. That was I was born with that, diba? It was nasa genes right. mm-hmm. where as nursing is something I had to acquire. Right, uh, agree. And then, uh, ito, we were mentioning this photo kanina, yung, yung naka-team amazing ka, no? Could you elaborate lang what was this? Uh, when was this? <laughs> that wasn't too far ago. That was that was nung June lang yan, eh, yung nasa right side, yung naka-scrub ako. Uh, nung mm-hmm. June lang yan, when I was finishing all my requirements. And, uh, you know, there was, I had a classmate, nandun siya sa labas, na, 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 sa labas nung grass, the grass door. Mm-hmm. Tapos nakita ko siya nag, ano, may camera. Sabi ko, sabi ko, picture mo ko. And then, you know, with, I said the amazing sign kasi nga, nag-motor kami. So, mm-hmm. so, I said, okay, this will be, you know, parang memory ko na to. Kasi, you know, that's a really ex- experience that I may or, you know, I may not be able to to be in the OR anymore. Kasi, depende yan sa, sa type of nurse na gusto kong gawin. So, but for mm-hmm. the moment, uh, I, I really, you know, I like that picture. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Carl, yun na muna. Uh, for my, dun sa second set ko, maybe later on, baka may tanong uli, Sir Jerry or mm-hmm. ating mga viewers. Sir, so, Brad, ito, may uh, comment dito si, ano, si, si Kuya Adolet. Parang kinakamusta na niya. Kumusta si tatay mo, Idol Billy? Kuya Romy Mamaril, since 1986, Anyeho, Hinebra pa rin. Yes. Si Papa, ano, you know, you would never... I, I ano, quiet lang si Papa kasi, di ba? Uh, opposite sa sa akin eh. Pero si Papa, he's pretty updated sa basketball. Alam niya yung mga, yung mga Hinebra. He still follows Hinebra. Tsaka si Papa nakakatawa kasi up to now, lahat ng gamit niya nakalagay Mamaril 22 Hinebra. Yung lahat ng, ano niya, lahat ng gamit niya, cellphone niya, bag niya, yung nakalagay lahat. Mamaril 22 Hinebra. <laughs> so he's, he's doing good. So, Will, do you consider yourself lucky na may jeans ka, like what you said, may jeans ka ng basketball na mas madali ba yung, yung, yung path mo to being a pro player? I would say yes. Uh, I was fortunate enough and blessed to have had, uh, you know, a, a father who played who played professional basketball. And obviously, yung, yung most Filipino, uh, unlike pala, unlike most Filipino, I was I was gifted with the with with the height of you know six six. And uh, but even you know even even with those um, uh, physical attributes, kalamo pa din mag ano uh, hin, You need to practice and train and de- dedicate yourself. And uh, you know I I I I think all all PBA player will say they're fortunate to be where they where they are. You know. Mm-hmm. What? Ano yung course mo sa Bakersfield Bill? I wanted to be you know, a teacher actually. Education talaga yung 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 course ko nung una. Uh, I I graduated uh, Bakersfield with an associate degree in liberal arts, so mm-hmm. basic lang siya talaga. Okay. So, pero pero hindi mo na ano pinerso yung pagiging teacher gusto mo ano nung yeah, player ka na focus na lang talaga. Yung nurse, yeah, nung, nung nung player na ako talagang basketball lang talaga nand. Uh, parang I, I said, I said, I told my mom, I'll, I'll set aside, you know, time and uh, and money for for my schooling later on, and uh, I was able to do that, naman. Okay. Tapos yung while ano you, while you were playing, meron ka bang mga ano what other things you did, mga side hustle, mga businesses, or wala focus ka lang talaga sa basketball na? Yeah, talaga. Uh, iba na kasi I don't know, I don't know, kasi. For me, pag basketball, that's your profession. That's what you get paid to do. That's your bread and butter. You should have 100% your effort and time do sa basketball. Kasi hindi fair sa teammate mo na, na they're giving their 100%. Tapos ikaw, ang dami mong side hustle pa dito. So I don't, I don't like that that much. Kasi uh, I have a goal. And, and, and yung, for that goal, nakarelay ako sa'yo. So I expect you to be the same na you give 100% dito sa, sa team natin. Um, yeah, that's just me. You know, iba they could they could juggle, but um, basketball and talaga ako nun. <laughs> so ngayon one hundred percent ka naman sa nursing bill. Yes, one hundred percent. Uh, ano nga eh, Billy Mamaril RN. RN stands for review na naman. Kasi <laughs> kasi meron na kong uh, meron na kong new review for the NCLEX exam naman ako. N- NCLEX oh. exam. Yun naman yung exam na 
nursing exams sa Amerika. So, mm-hmm. nagre-review ako doon ngayon. So, so that's different. Na kailan mo that's a requirement also. You have to take when you if you if you're going to work there. Yes, kasi yung license ko is for the Philippines only. Okay. So, I need I need to get a license for America then. And who knows, baka pati yung sa Australia at sa UK, kunin ko na din para meron lahat. Wow. So you're keeping wow. your options open, Bill, na kahit saan, wherever you're, ano, saan ka mag-apply yes. na work. Yeah, that's, that's the thing also, what, what, what made me pick nursing. Kasi at that time nga, di ba, kasi patapos na yung career mo, kailangan mo ng business daw. Sabi na, kailangan mo ng business, kailangan mo ng venture into something. Eh, I said, I don't know anything about business. I don't know anything about farming. Wala akong alam sa ganun. And uh, I said, I said I was fortunate na if had I ventured into a business tapos the pandemic happened, I'm pretty sure yung business na yun, kung ano man yun, wala na yun ngayon. Kasi ano, alam mo naman yung econ- economy nung, ngayon, ngayon, ano, ngayon pandemic pa. So I just decided, you know what, I will bet on myself. I wouldn't go back to school and I would... Uh, you know, become a nurse. Pero yun nga, Bill, prison hospital yung gusto mong, ano? Yes. Yun yung, why? Why is that, Bill? Siyempre, parang mahirap naman ma-imagine na may Billy Mamaril na nag-aalaga ng matanda, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> gusto mo enforcers din yung mga inaalaga mo. Oo. Oh, oh. Sabi nga nila, frontline ako dat- dati sa PBA. May frontline pa din ako ngayon. Tapos, ano din, uh, yes, guardia pa din. <laughs> Depend, uh, di ba? So, okay. yun, ang, yun ang goal. Pero, you know what? Kahit na yun ang sinasabi ko ngayon, you know, yung nursing talaga opens the, the there's a lot of opportunity that opens because I could be, a, I could also be a teacher. Pwede ako maging teacher ulit. You know, I could teach that. I could be a, yung uh, ER nurse. Parang maganda din yung ER nurse, di ba? Yung, yung action nandun lahat sa ER eh. And of course, uh, as I, I said before then, uh, iba din yung, yung feeling na nakaka-alaga ka, especially in the time na they're in their most vulnerability. Ano mo yun? So, to be able to care and, 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 and sympathize with them is uh, something that uh, I don't think that money can really uh, uh, put a price on. Mm-hmm. Grabe yung contrast bill na no? from being a PBA enforcer ngayon you know how to heal heal wounds or kung ano pa man Grabe yes, yung so. sensation mo bill. Yeah, nagulat nga sila doon eh di ba? Like I think even to now eh kung yung yung if you ask somebody na hindi ako hindi alam na nurse ako, ah ha, ha? si Billy Mamaril ganun yun. <laughs> okay. Tapos Yun, yung, yun, going back to nursing, Bill, what's, what's the toughest thing you've had to do? Yun ba yung pag-assist uh, mo sa pag-anak? Sa... No, that was fun. Masaya yun kasi learning mm-hmm. is fun. Uh, I don't think, imagine mo, yung first life nung bata na sa'yo, tapos that sticks with you. Uh-huh. Alam mo yung, yung bata na yun na, ay, ako yung nang nakong bata. Ang dami mo talagang experiences na, na maaalala. And I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, in the future, I'll have those experiences again. But iba talaga yung, ano eh, kasi, you know, bata ko, first time yun. Uh, but me- most memorable sa akin, uh, definitely, would be yung mga OJT namin. Kasi, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I really have to humble myself na, you know, hindi kasi Billy Mamaril dito na Hinebra PBA player eh. Pagdating mo ng hospital, you know, hindi ka naman... Hindi, hindi yung di ba iba yon hindi hindi mo to hindi mo to court hindi mo to home, hindi mo to home court sa hospital to at uh, mas, mas mas ano mas crucial ang mga mga nangyayari sa hospital pag pag ano pag mag-commit ka ng foul yeah. okay si pag ano lang compile ako ng last set of questions sir Jed do you have any last questions for Billy yes oh uh... Billy, ano nga ano ngayon? Practicing ka na ba? Nagtatrabaho ka na sa isang hospital or something ganon? Uh, hindi po po sir. Uh, as of right now, mm. uh, like I said, nagre-review pa din ako for another set of exam, okay. the NCLEX exam. Mm. And from there, uh, mm. we will see po kung ano, kung kung saan ako magpa-practice because, you know, I I really like the the Philippines and I think na 
madami din matutulungan dito sa atin. But as of right now, nagre-review po ako. And uh, sometimes I do mga, mga health drive, mga yun po, yung natutulong sa mga, sa mga vulnerable people po dito sa Pilipinas with their, uh, with their health. Uh, may outtaking na ba kayo? Tama ba yan? Outtaking ba tawag dun sa... Yes, wala pa pong nakaschedule na outtaking. So, we're all excited for that kasi parang yung outtaking the past couple years has been online eh. So, I think this this coming outtaking mm-hmm. will be will be in person. So, myself along wow. with uh, the rest of the graduate uh, no, are excited for that. Oo, maganda yun. Ano? Yung mga former teammates mo, ano, na, nung nalaman nila na nakapasa ka sa, sa board, Tinawagan ka ba? Nag-text ba sila? Yes, lahat po sila. Uh, actually, nag-ano kami, nag, uh, nag uh, Thanksgiving ride kami with sila Rico and sila JJ. I don't know if, if you would be you go to YouTube po, go to go to uh, TBA Moto Club. Nandun yung yung uh, yung kulitan namin nung nag-graduate ako kasi itong si Rico eh, maano eh, sabi di ko daw kaya eh. Syempre, I have to prove him wrong, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Pero ano naman 'yun? Ano? Sige ko naman ano naman 'yun. Uh, parang motivation 'yun. Mino-motivate niya ako kasi alam niya na mas productive ako pag galit ako eh. So pag yung I want to prove you wrong, alam niya na mas focus ako pag ganun. At uh, 'yun po. They're all happy kasi alam din nila na yung sacrifice ko kasi sabi ko ay wala muna akong ride ah. At uh, nawala ako for ilang buwan. Hindi ako nakasama sa kanila. Mm-hmm. May mga iba ka bang former teammates o mga players right now na kilala mo na gusto mong bumalik uli sa pag-aaral gano'n yung to encourage them na oh bakit hindi niyo gawin din di ba Yes uh as of now wala po akong alam na na former teammate na na gusto mong bumalik mag-aaral pero I'm sure yung mga hindi pa tapos diyan Uh, alam nila na eventually na they have to transition. I mean, all PBA player has to transition to another career. For my, you know, unfortunately for some, hindi naman tal- hindi naman pwedeng maging coach lahat, di ba? Hindi naman pwedeng maging assistant coach or, or or ano. So I would say yung mga hindi pa tapos, uh, it's never too late because you know, may goal ka pa din. You apply the same uh, discipline you had for basketball into to to education. You know, trust in yourself, believe in yourself. Kasi gano'n naman tayo nung sa basketball, di ba? Kumpiyasang-kumpiyasa tayo sa sarili. Pero ito lang, you know, ibang ibang avenue na. Pero same same ano, same blueprint and same drive pa din yan. And you would get the same result. I'm pretty sure you would do that if you just give it your your best. So, one last question, Billy. Halimbawa, tumawag sa'yo si Mr. Ramon Ang. Sabihin, mm-hmm. Billy, dito ka na magtrabaho sa San Miguel, company nurse. Mo. Sir, when do I start? <laughs> yeah, na. Paging na. RSA, Mr. Ramon Ang. <laughs> yes, that's the that's the the best the best boss that anybody could ever have. <laughs> okay, thank you, Billy. Carl, back to you. Ito mga last few questions built from the ano, comments and questions sa uh, social media. Sabi ni Sugar Ray Robinson, Pusong Mamon, Bitukang Dragon, Billy the Last Dinosaur. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to take that, <laughs> ha, pero thank you. <laughs> okay. Ito, uh, ito, sabi ni Brian Keith Lomongo. Baka kilala mo rin to. Sabi, proud kami sa'yo bro. Thanks for being my study buddy, co-RN. Yes, that's uh, one of my... Uh, wow. One of my study group yan, si Brian. At, uh, you know, si Brian talaga yung nag, parang nag-pace, nag-pace sa akin nung nag-review ako. Kasi, di ba, pag yung sa, sa horse racing, kailangan mo ng pacer, hahabulin mo yon. Siya yung yes. laging nahabul ko. Kasi ang tataas ng grades niya, nahabul ko. So, nung lumabas na yung resulta nung, nung, nung exam, yun naman, narapasa ko na siya. <laughs> Pero, nice. we're happy. We're happy for each other na na RN kami lahat and uh, we're able to, or especially yung mga ano mga klasiko um, I know that we have different circumstances but for them this is a, a whole new world for them kasi they're, they're, in, they're in their early 20s and the, the world just opened up for them because uh, they were able to finish their course in nursing and they were able to pass the board exam so 
congratulations again to uh, to Brian, to Kim, and Aldea, and uh, to 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 Mark, Mark Joseph. So thank you. And uh, you know, alam ko na alam ko na yung and uh, with time and effort, you know, you could accomplish other things. Carl, may habol ako ha. Kung may Jun Marfahardo right, right. sa study group mo, kung may Jun Marfahardo sa study group mo, sino yun? <laughs> kung may yeah. Jun Marfahardo. Si Brian ba? <laughs> hindi, hindi si Brian. Si, I think si ano eh, yung si, si Kim, si Kim Reyes, yung Jun Marfahardo kasi siya yung alam namin na magaling eh. So, siya na yun siguro. <laughs> si Brian, ano siya? Marcio or ano? <laughs> Baka si Marcio kasi sniper lang yan eh. You know? Nakakabulag wow, yan man. eh. <laughs> ako, low-key lang ako. Low-key role player lang. <laughs> Sige, Carl. Go ahead. <laughs> Ito may gusto makakuha ng tip sa'yo, Bill. Ay, hindi pala. Gusto ko i-test si ni Ernesto Arsenal. Sabi niya, sample and clex question. When caring for a client wow. who, has, <laughs> who has just had a thora, ano to? thoracentesis, <laughs> yes. which complication should you be aware during the immediate post-op period of time? Infection, a, yan. Infection, infection, B, pneumonia, infection, C, aspiration, yan. D, dis, 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 dyspnea. Dyspnea. Oh. <laughs> Pag- <laughs> I would ano I would I would turn to infection kasi post ano lang eh kakatapos lang nung procedure niya eh. So pero baka dismiya din niya na baka din makay nga eh. <laughs> oh, let us know. Baka nurse din to si ano no Ernesto. Oh, okay. Yung nagtanong. Tawa, sabi niya ha ha ha. <laughs> On the spot oh. 'yun ha. Ano? <laughs> 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 Oh, professor. Oh, nga. <laughs> Ayun, Bill, ba- bago ko ma ano, bago tayo ma-, ma bago natin makalimutan. Pag-usapan natin konti lang Bill yung ano, your passion for riding. Yes. Uh, kailan nagsimula? Yeah, well, no. When did it start? Well, even though na marunong naman ako mag-motor dati pa, the one that really sparked the, you know, the drive and the the hobby for me was my wife. Kasi yung wife ko Naka, ano yun, naka-sports bike yung wife ko. So, nung... Wow. Siya pa yung... Actually, mas nauna siya ng motor sa akin. Kasi nga, pag-basketball ako, basketball lang talaga. I had no, mm-hmm. no other hobby. But, you know, towards the end of my career, parang, okay, uh, sige, mag-bike na din ako. And then, uh, you know, dati, ang tawag ko sa sarili ko, village rider. Kasi nagpa-practice ako dun sa village lang eh. So, village rider ang tawag ko sa sarili ko. And then, my wife and I would... Uh, we would go to Tagaytay or we would join other uh, motorcycle club. And then eventually, the PBA Moto Club came about uh, mm-hmm. and uh, we were able to uh, ride on a, on a more consistent basis. And uh, at the same time, with the PBA Moto Club, we were able to, to donate to charity and to help out and also uh, expose ourselves to, to the fans in a, in a different field. Okay. There's a question dito si ano yung... Uh, si Flora Ganda, sana, sabi niya, sana matalo kayo ng mobs sa susunod na laro niyo. <laughs> yeah, how, how, is it, how is it like playing nung ano, against mobs na parang... Mavs, you know, yeah, uh, I know. Sabi ko mga kay Coach Mav. Sabi ko, Coach Mav, Coach Mav, thank you at uh, nabigyan mo kami ng uh, opportunity na na mabalikan yung dating naming uh, passion. You know? At uh, yung fire pa din nun kasi... Sabi kasi ni ng mga tao, matatalo daw kami. Eh, mm-hmm. Siyempre, as, a, as an athlete, you know, whether you're a former athlete or a current athlete, yung mentality mo na hindi ka papatalo, nandun pa din. You know, as they say nga, di ba? Never say die. Ayos. Ito. Last uh, two questions na lang. Bago, before we proceed to our favorite segment dito sa Zoom in. Sabi ni Marty Tarosa, sabi niya, in today's uh, PBA, who are your favorite players? In today's PBA, my favorite player is Christian Stan Hardinger. Yeah. Former so, teammate. Yeah, because, uh, you know, he's not the flashiest. He kind of reminded me of my younger self. Rugged, workhorse, diba? So And then he's, he's not, I know, he's not afraid to uh, to get dirty. So. Okay. Ah, yes. See, si ito, last... Uh, See, the last question. Maganda to. From Mon Valenzuela sa Facebook. Sabi niya, 
How do you want your fans to remember your illustrious career in the PBA? Oh, that's I know. For me, you know, I just want my fans to remember me, the the hard work that uh, I put in in the court. That uh, no matter what the obstacle was, that the uh, I w- I can I know I would uh, tackle it regardless of the outcome. I would give it one hundred percent. You know, guard, where this guarding an import, you know, diving for loose ball, getting a rebound. I just want them to uh, to remember my basketball career as a, a successful basketball career. Now he's he's one of the top. You know, rugged, tough, durable uh, player that that was in a, you know, especially to wear the Hinebra jersey. Okay, nicely said. And the Jan, let's proceed to our favorite segment. Then meron ka ba o si Sir Jet? Ayos na ako. Okay. Right. Sir Jerry, take it away. Okay, uh, Billy, ito may segment kami rito yung fast break. May tatanong okay. kaming medyo mabilis na natanong and kailangan mabilis din sa glad. Okay, I will try. <laughs> okay, kayang-kaya to. <laughs> okay, game. Yes, sir. Billy, outside sa Hinebra and San Miguel, kung may babalikan kang dating team mo, anong team yon? Pure Foods. Pure Foods, wow. Yeah, the one that drafted me. Okay. Uh-huh. Billy, sa mga championships mo sa PBA, ano ang pinaka-memorable? The last one. <laughs> last one? The last one. Yes. Because okay. uh, that was against, oh. ano, te- we were down. We we weren't favored to, for that one. We kami favored done. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I was able to appreciate the championship, that championship more. Because mm-hmm. like I said, nung bata ako, with the, the first and second one, I was expecting na we're gonna win. Pero ito, talagang out of nowhere, nanalo kami nun. Mm. Uh, sinong player ang talagang masasabi mong naging close mo sa PB? I would have to say Ronald Tubid because Ronald has been my teammate. Shell pa kami nun. And then Hinebra. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, Aside from uh, the basketball aspect, uh, no, we were able to help each other out uh, off the court also. So, Nino, Nino, mm-hmm. anak ko. Nino, ako ng anak niya. <laughs> okay, ah. Sa mga coaches naman, Billy, sinong mga, sino yung masasabi mong naging close ka talaga? Well, for the coaches, I would I'd, I'd say Coach Al. Coach Al, because um, Nino kasi Coach Al, eh, so... Coach Al has uh, <laughs> showed me. He showed me a different aspect of uh, of basketball because uh, with uh, other coaches I had, it was X and O's, you know, serious, serious talaga, X and O's talaga. But co- with Coach Al, he was able to uh, show other ways to winning, other ways to approach the game in a you know in a in a loose, uh, fun, you know, enjoyable manner. Hindi yung serious talaga. Billy, being a known defender, sinong mga players ang talagang nahirapan kang bantayan? Well, aside from the import, I see locally, mahirap bantayan si Dennis yes. Espino and, and, and si Ali Peak. Ooh. Even though even though we ah. know that 99% of the time, magle-left hook si Ali, you still cannot guard it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Billy, ito, being a known defender again, sinong defensive player naman yung talagang na-intimidate ka? Intimidate? Hindi ako masyadong ma-intimidate si defensive Pero, player. Kasi, kasi papasa mo lang yung bola kay Mark at kay JJ. <laughs> yung lang gagawin ko eh. Di ba? Solve na. <laughs> <laughs> Siguro, I think I would say, ano, there was one one time nung rookie year ko. So, rookie ako, si EJ Pyle. I, want, I wanted to dunk on EJ Pyle. You know, like every wow. time. Yeah, I wanted to dunk EJ. That was at the end of the game. I looked at the stat line. I was like one of sixteen. Ako. Tapos EJ may six blocks. Hindi mo talaga ano? Hindi mo imagine yung size ni EJ until you're there playing with him. Eh, malaki si EJ. Yeah. Pero wala hindi. De, du- during the na, entire career mo, hindi, di mo siya nadangkan. Hindi ko nadangkan si, si EJ. Nag-retire na siya ng maaga din eh. O patapos na siya nun eh. So sayang. 
<laughs> I tried. Si Marlo naman. Si Marlo naman. I never tried kasi mm-hmm. delikado eh. Baka may mangyari pa eh. So, hindi na katiray. <laughs> Eto. Billy, last question. Kung hindi nursing, anong karera ang kinuha mo dapat after ng PBA career mo? Uh, that would be a teacher. I wanted, I wanted to be a teacher uh, even uh, before basketball. So, yan. Okay. Thank you, Billy. Thank Back you. to you, Carl. Thank you, thank you. May mga last, ano, may mga pahabol na questions dito sa, ano, sa, sa YouTube. Si Crystal Asyong. Sabi niya, Idol, nami-miss mo pa ba ang basketball? Yes, uh, nami-miss ko yung basketball. Um, you know, I play basketball paminsan-minsan, di ba? Uh, si Yancy, may liga kami na Yancy. Uh, pero ano eh, yung basketball, it's, it's different na yung basketball for me eh. Uh, yung basketball, I play basketball para ma-remind ko yung sarili ko kung ba't ako nag-stop. So, <laughs> so may, uh, that's why I play basketball. Pero uh, I miss the crowd, I miss I miss the fans, I miss the competition. Uh, I play basketball, you know, and I shoot with my friends, you know. But um, of course, I like watching basketball. I see, I, I like seeing my 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 former team, my former teammates, see them successful, and um, and how basketball has evolved. And uh, you know, basketball will always be a, a a passion and 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 on top of my list. Yung kayansi ngayon may liga kayo ngayon. Yeah, uh, ano lang, yung fourteen <laughs> over daw. I, I, sabi ko kayansi. <laughs> Forty <laughs> over. Oh, no, sabi ko kaya si ano ano, uh, dati dati nasa PBA tayo parang kasi di ba 40 na gusto mo maglaro di ba? Pero ngayon parang palakad-lakad na lang kami doon. So <laughs> Anong anong what's it called? What the league? What's the league called? Dito lang sa village namin 'yun. Uh, ah, okay, okay. Mga so, ano, fe, mga ka-age mo yung kalaro. Yeah, kasi di ba, i may barkada din, syempre. Siyempre, kailangan nila ng tulong. So, tawagan kami. Ano? Can you, ano? Pwede ba kang, pwede ko mong mayaya? At, uh, kasi kasa, kalaban nila, I amin mean, sila yan. Si, sabi nila sa akin. Si Yancy kalaban sa kabila. Kasi kasi, ako bahala. Ako bahala. Import. Ako, ako, ba, Import. Ako, ako bahala kay Yancy. Alam, alam ko yan. So, tapos, tapos, nung, nung, nung game na, bulungan kami ni Yancy. Uy, pre. Lakad-lakad lang tayo. Ha? <laughs> Relax lang. Relax lang. Huwag mag-ahapit. Uh-huh. Ito, ito, meron akong ano, few, few ano rin, fast break questions, Bill. Sige. Kyle, di ba, enforcer ka. Pero which players can't be intimidated? Ah, uh, let's see. You mean when I was playing? Ah, uh, sino hindi mo matakot? Siyempre, Danny Ay, di mo matatakot yun. Danny Ay, then si Spino. You know? Spino. But, uh, Sino pa? Uh, yung takot, well, di kasi, ano, alam mo, yung mga ibang enforcer din ngayon na nakasabayan ko na nagalaro pa, sinasabi nila, enforcer na, ano, mag, you know, kind of dirty maglaro. Sinasabi ko lagi, hindi, bait-bait nga nun eh. Kasi namimili din naman, di ba? So, <laughs> ewan ko. Uh, yung mga veterans talaga you know the veterans you know you don't want you can intimidate them kasi alam na nila dami na sila nadaanan and uh, mm-hmm. but on top of my list is you know Dennis Espino I think Eric Mack also so mm-hmm. di mo maano yun okay ito last sinong pinakamagaling mag ride sa PBA Moto Club pinakamagaling mag ride sa PBA Moto Club siguro si Rico si Rico Meyerhofer kasi mm-hmm. safety talaga si Rico mag drive eh and uh syempre siya yung nag- lagi siyang ano na una sa sa mga meeting spot nandoon siya lagi unang-una siya samantala nung practice lagi siyang huli <laughs> <laughs> pero ngayon parang lagi siyang galit pag may late na ano late oo na, oh member. lagi siyang galit pag ano <laughs> siguro hindi ko alam kung binabawian lang siya o hindi eh pero <laughs> let's try naman sana ano if if you guys see us ano just uh, say hi and wave to us and uh you know, we acknowledge naman everyone that ano, goes up to us. Okay. Dahil dyan, Bill, maraming salamat sa for spending Thank some you. time. Alam ko, busy ka. Do you have any ano, uh, final message sa ating sa mga fellow nurses, PD fans, yes. San Miguel Corp fans? Yes. Uh, first of all, to everyone, uh, 
Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope that everyone have a nice Christmas, especially during this pandemic. But then, pero somehow, you know, we're able to survive uh, and enjoy this Christmas. And uh, congratulations again to all the to the nurses that took the board exam. So we're RN now, and uh, a whole new world is coming next year for us. And also, uh, congratulations, uh, Hinebra San Miguel, for making the finals. Good luck to you guys. Uh, you know, I'll be watching. And um, to my wife, to my wife, uh, thank you for uh, supporting me and uh, my kids also. Uh, yung mga kids ko nakakatawa kasi even their teachers daw and the, and the parents of their classmates, kino congratulate daw ako. So, yes. so they, ano, it's a different, <laughs> ano, it's a different nice. feeling for them na ibang, ibang ano naman yung, ibang field naman yung recognition na nakukuha natin. Pero also, last one, my last message pala uh, to those uh mga student athletes you know yeah, to the student yeah. athletes that has a hard time or, or or may think that it's difficult to to manage your education and your career as a as an athlete you know during school i i would like to say now now it's possible because i've been there as an athlete in the school and i was playing my sport and then even now at a, at a, a later age i was able to go back to school and play professionally so please um you know give your your sport 100 but don't, don't forget your education and also to the to all nursing student or or gra nurse nurse graduate that hasn't taken the board exam uh just give time and effort and you will succeed so, yun lang po. nicely said bill dahil jan nice we we'll come yeah. to another uh, fun and lively discussion here's uh, spin zoom in uh, on behalf of our one man production crew Jamariano, Mariano and our lead correspondent Ruben Tarado and Sir Jerry Ramos our associate editor my name is Carlos Ocamos it's been a pleasure to once again uh, conduct this spin zoom in episode marami salamat <laughs> Billy Mamaril registered yeah. nurse Merry Christmas at uh, ingat tayo Merry Christmas everyone Sige, thank Merry you Christmas. Merry Christmas Billy thank you Thank right, you. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye.